Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Britain's government could end up paying £133 billion to the Bank of England over six years to finance its quantitative easing program, according to official budget forecasters. British banks hold around £950 billion of reserves at the Bank of England, largely as a result of more than £800 billion of reserves created to pay for QE purchases of British government bonds that the central bank is yet to reverse. Banks are paid interest on the reserves at whatever is the Bank of England's current interest rate, just 0.1% a year ago, but 3% now, and they could rise further still. Until recently, the government received profits made by the Bank of England's QE program when interest rates were low, which totaled £120 billion between March of 2009 and March of 2022. These flows have reversed. Now, the government foots the bill for any losses the bank makes as it pays higher interest on bank reserves issued for its QE program than it receives from the government bonds which the Bank of England bought. And with public finances undergoing strain from the energy bill support schemes and a stalling economy, this liability, which transfers taxpayer money to banks, has come under increasing scrutiny. The Office for Budget Responsibility said in its latest forecast that the Treasury pays £133 billion to the Bank of England to cover these losses, more than reversing the previous 13 years' gains. It said this figure was sensitive to both changes in the bank's bank rate and gilt prices, meaning the true figure could be much higher or lower. Some former Bank of England officials have suggested that banks should receive interest on only a fraction of their reserves held at the central bank to stem taxpayer payments to banks. Bank of England Governor Andrew Bailey has said doing so would weaken the central bank's transmission of monetary policy via the banking system. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon and subscribe to stay up to date. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media.